I cannot stand the thought of some celebrity chef criticizing me. We are going to be judged today. Relax, relax, we're gonna be all right. He misses Lynn Crawford from the Four Seasons of New York. The fish is upside down on the plate. Oh, God. I was made a fool of in front of, you know, the executive chef of the Four Seasons. The only damage you're doing to yourself is yourself. This is your time to shine. You're gonna be just fine. It's your time and I... Look how far you come, open your eyes. This is your time tonight, it turned out all right. You don't have to fight a night. Look how far you come, open your eyes. Look how far you come, open your Previously on Chef School. This uniform represents everything that I've worked towards for the last two years. We believe in the Chef School that you've come to the right school. It's not first come, first serve because we all have to get along in here. I really don't care if I piss anyone off. If I can't do this, I don't know what I'm going to do. person I'm really happy if I have my 45 minutes to do my shit but the last two weeks because I have so much homework to do I have not had my ritual it needs to leave at exactly 755 you know <laughs> it's freaking <laughs> rain man full the beds to hospital corners <laughs> I've never moved away from home to go to school before and all of a sudden we're like in this melting pot I guess you could say like a chef school where we live eat and work together I know you need exactly two minutes to put your bag together then you need two and a half minutes to finish folding your bed I haven't been here a week. What surprises me is actually how much uh, work is involved. I, I haven't stopped, really. I spent my whole weekend doing homework. It's been pretty stressful. But you, you have to do it. Good morning, students. Good morning, chefs. Today, we're going to learn about the wonderful world of poaching. Poaching. The most appropriate phrase to describe this process is boiling without actually boiling. If such an expression really makes sense. The term to poach is used to indicate all the procedures of slow cooking which takes place in a liquid by a gradual penetration of the heat. So, your group pairings for today then? I hope my partner's gonna be a guy. Not that I have anything against girls, I just kind of tend to work well with, with with guys. I'm hoping to be partnered with Allison. I really like Richard. I guess the the only person I wouldn't want for my partner is somebody who's in the same boat I am, who has no experience. I would like to stick with Ben. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Allison is like, you know, the really popular dish at the buffet. Oh, <laughs> just trying to get comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Every class anyone ever goes to, there's always the hottie in the class. And Allison's the hottie in the class. All right, the groups for today are as follows. So Alex and uh, uh, David. I, I, I wasn't thrilled when I was told that Alex was my new partner. Richard and Danielle, Ben and Kelsey, Tim and Andrew. It's going to be a case of the blind leading the blind. Matt and Allison. I'd say that I'm happy to have a new partner. She's kind of cute. I'm kind of wondering why I didn't get paired up with Allison. Joyce and Mike. Mike and I already know that we don't work well together. I don't want to work through either. Any questions? One hour, concentrate, focus, okay? All right, All right off you go. So. Today we're gonna be making eggs moule. F merret. <laughs> it's poached eggs with um, a brown sauce. A demi glass and wine reduction thick and brown sauce, I guess. We also add some pearl onions, some mushrooms. It does have bacon, so you got your bacon and eggs, so it can't be that bad. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna demonstrate the Ufa Mirex, so you have to watch. Neil Baxter is a 10 out of 10. I really admire the way he works. And then the sauce. Like, he is just a master of what he does. 
Jeff. You're welcome. All right, then. Off you go. Want to do the chicken? Sure. I think Alice is kind of leading the team. I'm not really interested in trying to figure out how to work with somebody else. Somebody? Usually, I'm not OK with that, but I think today it's all right. Because I could probably use the discipline anyways. Just put on medium here right now. I'll add the stock because it's heating up gradually. With Alex, I actually have to just kind of, you know, keep my mouth shut and let him go. Let's get to going the stove right now. Just put it on medium. Deal. You can go ahead and be the head chef of our group. Sure, I'll be a sous chef. There's a little bit of power struggle going on today. Mike kind of annoys me, but there's a million mics out there. And uh, I just need to learn to cope. So if I'm just looking at this pot of this pot here, it's got onions and uh, bacon in it. Now I'm assuming that we're not going to deep fry this vegetable. So, so whose is this? Sorry. It's yours, that. You know, it's bad to say that you enjoyed other people getting criticized. This is uh, this is very bad. I hope I get better. All I can do is try. I'm just glad it wasn't me. This morning's our first step class, or body moves class. They'll be sweating. I don't actually know what's going to happen in movement class. Some interesting smells. The last thing I want to do right now is work out. Morning, everyone. This is one of the most controversial things you will do in the school. My movement class is a, it's a, essentially, it's a class in a dining room service. What we're trying to achieve is work on the floor that's elegant, that looks effortless. Ah. Uh. The point of the class? I don't know. And now think about these buttock muscles, the glutes, and just really, really squeeze them. It's all very, uh, very new, very novel, exciting stuff. So if I try to do this, this is what happens. Jim. <laughs> so let's just play with that for a second. Just lift up. I never met a person like Jim before. Engage here. Just his voice. Here. His whole stage presence. OK, and then again, scrunch them up. Movement class is retarded. It's uncomfortable. I'm out of breath. I'm smelling myself. It's not my bag. Balls. I was sweating balls. The practical aspect of uh, of the school tries to be all encompassing. One cannot really cook well without understanding the milieu of cooking. And then I didn't realize that it was going to be as much uh, moving, touching, more touching and moving. I'd rather go for a run than stand here and do low impact aerobics meets British finishing school. Liam BLT. What was the special again? <laughs> it's not bruschetta, it's bruschetta. I've just walked into down the street and I've noticed the waitress is gorgeous. He was not subtle about it, it was kind of like a. Jesus Christ, dogs. Matt, of course, jumped on it. I got 10 bucks. He says, OK, get her no more last time. That's so cool. Yeah. It's just like, you like the way he dress. You know, there's certain things you got to find out about a girl before you ask her out. She's, like what? Like, if she's, like if she's a lesbian for one, yeah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant like, like, and then he goes and asks, he goes and asks the waitress. I was just wondering if maybe you would be interested in going out with him sometime. For <laughs> her freaking number. For his friend Alex. Okay, well, I, I'd ask him. He's my he's my friend. I'd look up for him, right? I just kind of asked, asked her out for you, and she's like, "Wow, well, I have a boyfriend." Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> well, you just... wouldn't stop. He wouldn't stop ranting. So I was like, Dude. "Well, I'm gonna do something if you're not." since I was a kid. You know, I grew up listening to Nirvana and have, you know, the Kurt Cobain hair, and then I kind of got into, like, Metallica, and, you know, it got kind of longer, and then they cut off all their hair, and it's like, screw them, metal forever. 
Where's Alex and Dave? Where's Alex and Dave? Uh, I graduated high school about four years ago. Um, I kind of dropped out and then went back and uh, I actually dropped out. Actually, I didn't graduate. C'est pas bon. It's totally unfair for other people to show up late. <clears throat> I mean, we all make the effort to be there early. And it was kind of irritating. Well, you late, Alex. I had not reset my alarm. It's inexcusable. I'm sorry. Bullshit. What were your setup jobs today? I'm not even quite sure. Dave, what were yours? What were your jobs today? Uh, I dishes. No, no stoves and drip pans. Well, what are you looking at his notes for? I actually can't find mine at the moment. Um, I lost it yesterday. I'm thinking it's in a different book at home. I had my guidance counselor tell me I would never amount to anything. If I say come in early, come in early. Don't come in after five after eight. So now I'm going to get my diploma and show everyone. If you're going to be late, don't bother showing up, all right? Yes, sir. I think Dave and Alex are kind of hurting themselves more than anyone else. Today is a special class. You will be critiqued. We're going to invite a panel of chefs into the kitchen who will give you constructive feedback. We are going to be judged today. I'm uh, a little nervous. Oh, God. Hello, how are Hello, you? Hello, Chef. Eh? Nice to see you again. Nice how are you? Good. Chef Lynn Crawford from Four Seasons is coming. I feel a little unprepared. So, this is uh, Lynn Crawford from the Four Seasons of, of New York. This just gives me butterflies. How are you, Steve? Always a pleasure. Steve Dawes from uh, Bistro 38 in Stratford. I hate competition. Depending on how the groups have performed, uh, Chef Lynn Crawford will be selecting one pair to cook with her in the lunch hour. I'd be very happy to get some private instruction to help out, point out flaws. It's definitely, I think, going to raise the bar a little bit on what people do. I wish you all the best today. It's going to be a trying class, I'm sure. My plan to win panel today is just to do the best dish that I can. Like, who doesn't want to win? I just hope that I don't screw up today. Uh, Matt and I are making skate with brown butter sauce today. Surprisingly, Matt's listening to what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> For panel today, I am working with Mike. Woohoo! We suck together. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> it's going terrible. I'm looking around and nothing's working. Oh, shit. I want to smash things. Relax, relax. We're going to be all right. I'm getting frustrated. Dude, we're working behind everyone today. I want to go for a smoke. So you guys are not getting along, or what? No, we're getting along. It's just very different styles. We come from very different backgrounds, have very different personality types. So. But that's the reality of what a kitchen is, That's right. Yeah? So who's the leader in the group? If I were to tell him what to do, yeah? he would argue so. So how did you divide? At the divide? same time, I'm basically just, you know, taking a backseat approach. Never take the backseat. Be the best, take control. Be the leader. Stir that in. Add some lemon to it. I do I swear. So you guys are sharing the cutting board. Your work area is very convoluted. It is, isn't it? Working in the kitchen, right? It's about figuring out who's going to do what and how, because cooking is like dancing, right? You don't want to step on anybody's feet, but you want to be fast and efficient. Okay, thank you. Hey, guys, can we be ready in 15 minutes? 15 minutes, OK? This is what we're going to be graded on here. It's just all rushed and not right. So this uh, isn't perfect. We're screwed. I cannot stand the thought of some celebrity chef criticizing me. I'm worried about failing, uh, them not 
people liking my dish, cutting it up, making me feel like trash. I'm approaching this as in, hey, if I happen to do something really well today and uh, Lynn's impressed, you know, then great. The relish, dynamite. Mm -hmm. Well balanced. The fish, I'm disappointed. It's just overcooked. It's the main problem. Yeah. Fish, I think it's just a little too under for me. If you sent this out to one of your guests, <clears throat> they would definitely send it back. They would say it's not cooked enough, right? Kind of makes me feel like shit. I'm not gonna eat the undercooked salmon, sorry. <laughs> I tried to stop Joyce a few times, but like she wanted to use her chiffonade of shitty basil, which she bruised, which looked like fucking pubic hair. <laughs> Um, the fish is upside down on the plate. The muscular hemoglobin right here, I don't want to see that. It was upside down. Take it pretty. What's the wrong thing? Yeah. I'm trying not to be rude, but I don't even want to eat it. It just looks really dry. I mean, and like, there's stuff all around the plate. Like, it's not even that clean. Okay, uh, you know, this kind of uh, pinwheel kind of thing is, is disturbing. I think uh, this is just a total example of uh, how organization and mise en place and just being on time is a real key factor. He gets up and says, well, we both slept in today and blah, blah, blah. I think me and Dave both, if we were um, plating on the line, I would throw that straight into the trash. And I look at him and I, you know, what are you saying? No, just sit there and shut up. Save the excuses about being late or not showing up in time. The only damage that you're doing, quite frankly, and I'm sorry to be telling you this in front of everybody, the only damage you're doing to yourself is yourself. You know, I, I, I can't, I, I, I was made a fool of in front of, you know, the executive chef of the Four Seasons, and, you know, it's, I'm not gonna let that happen again. It's very appealing. What do you the think? sauce for me, I know I'm gonna need a cup. <laughs> oh, good, you're good. No, I can just tell, like, yeah. I'm like, my, I'm it is salivating. salivating. But the skate wing, it's like waving. It's happy. This fish <laughs> is very happy. Like, it's like, hello. Nice and moist. And, it, it, it's know. moist. Oh, yeah. Hello. Uh -huh. it, it's so appealing. It's like, wow. But well, this is great. It's perfect. It's perfect. I think Alex and I should have won today. We we have the skills, and we could have, and you know, we really should have won today. We were scrambly all over the place, unorganized, and it showed. But with Joyce, it was just uh, always second guessing me, just pain in the ass. Allison and Matt, I would like the two of you to cook lunch with me. All right. Good job. It feels great to win. First panel especially, it's awesome. I was so excited. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Well, probably in my life. I am absolutely 100% going to win next time. There's no way I'm going to let something like that happen again. Matt and Allison, I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef Thank Glenn. you, thank you. And because you did your poaching with Chef Neil, I thought, why not poach halibut in a truffle beurre blanc? It's amazing. It's a wonderful opportunity. So it's truffle, truffle, truffle. I know I'm getting to where I want to go. And you're going to take this magnificent truffle, and you're going to shave as many slices as you want on top of the halibut. Lynn looked at me and Matt, and she said, two of you have what it takes. And that was just like butterflies in my stomach, the best the best thing. Keep the passion inside, support each other, and never forget the dish has to be the best that it possibly can be. Each and every dish has to be the best. Now I think I have what it takes to be a chef, definitely. This is going to be 
going to be delicious. This is looking delicious. Bon appétit. To us. To us. <laughs> Next time on Chef School. I'd probably prefer to work with guys because the women I've worked with in the past uh -huh. have all been very screechy bitches. Local legend says that they wait until maggots form in this cheese before it's ready to be eaten. Honestly, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't have it in me for another recovery. I'm an elephant locked up in a dog cage right now, man. But there's 